All right, it finally happened. The uh, wonderful Chinesium BMS 60 amp has had a fatal error. We gotta get the light. Look at that. So the balancing board has failed uh, almost catastrophically. If I was not home, if I didn't, I have a very good smell, sense of smell. Um, I can smell things a lot sooner a lot faster than normal people so i was able to smell it uh, it was very very faint um, so i know most people wouldn't have been able to smell it but it kept getting worse so i noticed yesterday that i smell a very like incredibly faint burning smell can't really get it but you can see i'm going to take it apart and i'll post pictures later but yeah um there you go. BMS failed. And it could possibly be because of the cold solder joints. See, I, I was trying to track it, and eventually... I doubt it's because of that, uh, but obviously whatever section that is um, was overworked and eventually failed. That's why uh, balancing the cells is exponentially more important than just trying to bleed off the heat. Do know it's obviously a Chinesium one, but all of them have similar problems. Where is that better one? So yeah, I'm working on this one. You can see it, it looks messy, but I'm trying my best to ensure that there's no cold solder joints. So it's kind of going on Pretty heavy, pretty messy. Um, this one's, I'm kind of happy with that solder joint, but the rest of them I was having quite a bit of difficulty with. Uh, just shitty soldering iron, by high quality. It, you'll need one of these in order to do bigger projects, like 100 watts or more. You'll need to buy a very high quality one, one that's 50 plus dollars. Uh, don't don't buy the cheap Chinese ones. I took this one apart and uh, It's really bad like it's really bad and then it's also 220. They lied. It was supposed to be 120 volt But they sent me a 220 so I just Did some of my little jerry rigging to get it to work But yeah, basically the new iteration has a bus bar of just 214 wire in between every single um, where are these? Wherever I put there it is. See, 30 AWG Remington gun wire. I have no clue what it's used for, but whatever, right? But anyways, yeah, so the Chinesium, you know, it broke, so I disconnected it completely. And I've flipped my brake. That's why it's so important on your power wall to have a, um, a breaker on the positive and the negative otherwise I mean if you don't have a breaker on the positive <laughs> you're an idiot like just straight up there is there's absolutely no reason and you have to put one on the negative but you're like okay then why put one on the negative because of the way the electrons flow you have to put one on the negative otherwise you could blow the whole circuitry or fry something up here before the breaker trips that's that's why that's why all of these circuits seem to be designed backwards so if you don't understand this stuff you don't know it just put like it's not that much money either but anyways so it's you know catastrophic failure i'd say but i was here i was very cautious so you know what's his name electrodactus batriums just buy one of those you know, or one of the other name brand big companies, right? These Chinesium ones. I bought it because I was curious, right? I never trusted it as a full, um, you know, reliable system. These these ones, I have a whole bunch of them. Wherever I put them. Um, they're probably buried in here. There it is. So I bought this one too. And it's got a lot of... Like, hopefully this one will be better. Maybe this is a more up-to-date one. So this will be going in there next. Look at that. Do you see the differences? Like, look at all the 
freaking wires when it comes with a monitoring station but yeah I'm just unfortunately it's taken me a lot longer than it should um, there's no see look at the difference like this is arguably first generation actually this is second generation I've seen first generation of these Chinese BMS's so they are obviously improving they're getting better right so these ones here if you see them you know they've got a lot more wires this one's three rated for 320 amps which in like north american or western country standards that means it can hold like five amps not 320 amps that's a joke but you know what i mean like they lie like almost all this equipment i have is not what it was rated at Oh, it's especially this thing. Like, I have no clue what to do with this boost converter. But anyways, yeah, it's unfortunate. Um, but I had a very strong feeling, like 60 amps. The most I would ever draw off this BMS was like 20 amps at most. So it was running way below spec. Uh, but the, the balancing system, the resistors to balance, they basically just burn off energy they weren't up to snuff uh obviously so i'm going to take this one apart do a little dissect later but yeah i'd you know major critical failure so that's why i'm posting the video i don't like posting videos unless i have actual content of value for people to watch so that's why i haven't been posting much of anything over the past well that and i have other more important situations i'm dealing with so um or things that I deem to be important, right, because it doesn't mean it is, but anyways, yeah, so this thing, um, failed, and, you know, the balancing system on it, who knows, right, maybe I just had the settings way too high, I noticed that, um, this guy here is what kind of triggered the, um, catastrophic failure. I wasn't having any problems until I decided to do an updated load test of running my entire gaming computer off of this power wall. It did quite well. And then I decided to recharge it using this thing, not my solar charge controller. So this thing had nothing to do with the failure at all. I was hooked up to this thing. And I think what happened is it just, it kept trying to charge up this wall. And because of the cold solder joints, everything was... 0.2 volts out of out of whack um, in one way or another between 0.1 and 0.2 and I assume it was just too much for this BMS to handle unfortunately there was just too much imbalance and that's why you should always focus on balancing and like cold joints is what ruined this one right um, if you have like a brick like you know this one here this one was designed like a brick, like how most people are doing it, using, yeah, you know, using this stuff here, right? You know, spot welding or soldering that stuff, and then using the heat shrink. So, yeah, that's that's what uh, most people do. But I do the uh, connectors. Um, this next iteration, I think it'll be much better. Another thing I found is that dielectric grease wherever I have it. Yeah, dielectric grease for spark plugs. See, dielectric grease. I found putting that onto the tabs, right? Look. These tabs here, if you put a tiny bit on each side, it helps a lot with resistance. The pressure plates are not as good as spot welding or soldering. So dielectric grease helps a lot, even though this is stainless steel or whatever the fuck. I'm pretty sure it's stainless steel. Dielectric grease does help with oxidation that will occur over time. So that's the other change that will be done with this one. I had a huge problem because I left it for so long. I got oxidation on the copper wire, so I have to saw or I just use some sand, sandpaper. Some, you know, this stuff is it's it's um it's pretty fine actually. You don't need aggressive sandpaper, just you know, and use a lot of flux. I could just make new ones up that aren't oxidated, but uh, I didn't see any issue. Sanding it down helps with oxidation, so even if it was brand new wire, I'd recommend uh, sanding it first with a very thin grit. Let's see. 
Uh, let's see. So, yeah. okay. So probably 2,000 grit would be great. 800 is like pretty is like you know kind of gritty. Like the lower the number, the more aggressive it is, right? The larger the gran granules are. So 2,000, like probably just use 1,000. Uh, 2,000 might be too fine. But yeah, you just use sandpaper to get the oxidation level off. Even with brand new wire, you probably help. But let me know what you think. Anyways, um, hope you found it a little educational. Um, I'll post some pictures or something. I'll do a teardown later. Anyways, uh, thanks guys. Talk to you later. Bye.